we will discuss how to solve for the sample if given the population of the study. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. This time, I will teach you how you are going to determine the sample size using this uh, very common Ralsoff calculator. This is a very friendly calculator in identifying the sample size. So you just search in the website here, Ralsoff calculator. And then we have some Ralsoff, this one, sample size calculator. So for example, how we are going to find, we have here uh, in default, or you can change this margin of error. This is the amount of error that can you tolerate. So it can be 5% or less than 5%. And the confidence level is 95. Usually for social sciences, we are using this 95% and 5% margin of error. 95% confidence level. This is amount of uncertainty that you can tolerate. And then this is the sample size, sample population. If known, if you have already the number of total population and then you are finding that sample size, so we can use this one. You can just change this. For example, I will change this one to I have a 1,000 total population in my study. And this one, you can set this uh, response distribution into 50% as default since this gives the largest sample size. So you may not change this one since in the normal distribution that is equivalent to 100%, half of that normal curve is 50%. So this is this gives you a large sample size. So we have here if 1000 population and then you are using this 95% confidence level and 5% margin of error. So you have a total of population 278. This is a large sample size enough for your study. And you can change that one. So we have here if 95 in the right side, if 95% confidence level, you have 278. If 99, you need 400. Since the smaller the margin of error, that is the bigger sample size. And if you have 90, you have 214. Okay, so for example, we change uh, my confidence level into 99% and this is 1% margin of error so I need one 944 so uh, the smaller the error the bigger the sample size so what if this is 90 and I have margin of error of 10% since this is complementary so we have 64 64 sample size so it's very safe to use this 95 for survey and uh, conducting a descriptive or a quantitative research. So 95% and 5% margin of error since this is a total of 100. So 95 confidence level and margin of error of 5%. So you need 278 for a total population of 1,000. So this is how you are going to Find the sample size. Very easy to find the sample size using this rows of calculator. And if you have, for example, you have 500 respondents and you're using 95 confidence level and a margin of error of 5%, so you are going to have this 218 sample size. Okay, and then if you need the formula for your statistical treatment, you can just use this one for the formula of this. Uh, Rouse of calculator to use to solve for the sample size. So x is the sample size is equal to this uh, standard score and this is critical value over 100 squared times we have r is the fraction of responses that you are interested in and then times the quantity 100 minus the r. You can just use it's either the first or the second and the third formula if you need this formula but of course this rows of calculator really help you to find the sample 
or the sample size. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on